Our reading for today comes from Job chapter 19, beginning with verse 25. I know that my Redeemer lives, and at the end of time he will stand over the dust. Then even after my skin has been destroyed, nevertheless, in my own flesh I will see God. I myself will see him. My own eyes will see him, and not as a stranger. How my heart yearns within me. It's very common for us today to see images in ultrasounds of a baby already in the womb. It's pretty fascinating to think that we now have the technology to see life even at its earliest stages. Microscopic technology and cameras also allow surgeons to see inside of our bodies to perform surgeries without making large cuts. The technology already exists in our world to document a person's body during his or her entire existence on Earth. The National Geographic Channel years ago did a program called The History of Your Body and uh, tried to demonstrate that very thing. Just imagine if you were able to set up a camera all the way from the point of your conception all the way to your death that actually focused on and watched your body through the entire process of your life. Just think what an amazing thing that would be. According to studies in human physiology, we are already starting to go over the hill once we're in our early 20s. Our lung capacity and respiratory system already begins to break down and deteriorate very slightly. So even when we think of ourselves as being so young, it's already starting to degrade inside of us. In a sense, we are already dying. Imagine if you could take an age-enhanced photograph of yourself, let's say 10 years out, 20 years out. A few years ago, a professor from Oxford had a 13-year-old boy come and be photographed, and then he slowly watched himself age through this special process. And he went all the way up to age 72, and the 13-year-old boy looked at it and said, that is scary. What will your face look like in another 20 years? Maybe another 40 years? What will it look like the day you die? What if you could set up a camera in your coffin to see what your face would look like five years after you die? Job speaks pretty harshly. He says, my skin will be destroyed. That decomposition process is something we don't like to think about. And yet it's gonna happen in some way, shape or form to all of us, unless the Lord takes us from this world. But God has created your body to be alive. He has created you to live. Death is an unnatural interruption in the process of life of God's plan. God didn't want this to be the end of you. And that's why he sent his son into the world to rescue our bodies and to give them life, life eternal. And that's why Job has such confidence to say, I know that my Redeemer lives. St. Paul put it this way, this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. Imagine if the night that Jesus rose from the dead that very morning when he came alive in the grave on that first Easter, imagine if if there had been a camera there to watch that, a night vision camera inside of that tomb. I often wonder what would have been the first thing to move his hand, his eyes, his mouth, as he began to sit up. And for yourself, think what it'll be like the day of our resurrections. What it would be like to actually watch our bodies physically coming back to life again from the dead. We can learn four things from Job. First of all, he says it will be himself experiencing this. It's not as though we will become someone else. He says, out of my own flesh, I shall see God. From my own body, he even emphasizes it. Secondly, we see how our faith in Christ connects us to this life in our Redeemer. Jesus said to you and me, because I live, you shall live also. Thirdly, think of the tremendous certainty that we now have because of what Christ has done for us. Look at the confidence Job says, I know that my Redeemer lives, and in my flesh I shall see God. And how this then permits him and us to look forward in joyful anticipation of this happening. How my heart yearns within me. 
The, the translation of the Hebrew literally means that my insides are consumed with such joy with knowing that this is coming, that I'm gonna be getting to see this. What a wonderful blessing we have in Easter and what a wonderful future God gives us through that precious gift of our own coming resurrections. Let's have a prayer as we close. Lord God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Savior, who has gone through the chamber of death for us to make a passage for each one of us by faith in him. Keep us firm in this faith as we look forward to our own future resurrection. Bless us as we celebrate our Lord's resurrection and our own. We ask it all in his saving name. Amen. May God bless your day.